What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Eat With Coral Blush. Today I've made some lovely pork steaks. And to go with that I've made some mashed potatoes and some vegetables and some Yorkshire puddings. And with that also we've got some lovely gravy. So pour the gravy over that, over the veg and over the mash. I don't like pouring it on me. Yorkshire puddings because I like them to stay quite crispy. There you go guys, take a look at that close up. Yum yum. Look nice. And me drink, I've got Coca-Cola. Cheers. I'm not joking guys. It's half past eight at night. What a stressful day we've had today. I'm going to start eating and then I'll get to telling you. Mash. You all know I love me mash. Lovely mashed potato. Creamy mashed potato. Plenty butter and salt. Oh God. So buttery. Yorkshire pud. Good night, I'm lucky. Not having you tippy torn around us. Looking for crumbs falling. <laughs> to get you one. Mm. Right. Um, go in for one of these lovely pork steaks. It's like a pork chop but without the bone. Still got the like render of fat on. I've just put these in the oven. Mm. Nearly went down the wrong way that. Broccoli. Cauliflower. Mm. This is just the um vegetable medley, do you know the frozen bags? Mm. 
Steaks are lovely. It came in a massive pack. They were a bit bigger than what they look now. Obviously, once you cook them down, they shrink a bit. But there's loads. I've got four. Kenny's got four. The kids have got, like, one each. Mm. The whole pack was only £5, pounds, I mean. Wow, last night the wind, God, was really strong. I was scared because um, top of Ellis's shed, it's just outside the dining room window. And it's got a couple of like, um, they're not paving slabs, but they're like uh, hexagon kind of stones. <clears throat> just because it's keeping the um, plastic on till he gets some felt. I was so worried in case like the plastic lifted up and then one of the bricks would have come smashing through a window. It was that strong, the wind. It's been dead windy today. I've got a couple of lines of washing out, but then it started to rain. It's just wild. You can't have your windows open because like, the doors are just continuously slamming. Pardon me. I must take that nail varnish off. So my today has been quite a stressful day is Kenny started to uh, tackle the bathroom. He um, put all the trim around the bath and stuff. Had a right nightmare with that in itself. No, for the like the corn as the joins. Um, so anyways, finally gets them on nice. Luckily, we just had enough um, trim because obviously he'd done a couple of mistakes. But he got them like nice looking. And then come to the panels. Tried sliding the panels in the um, grooves of the trims because they meant to just slot in. Uh, it would heck go. It would go in so long. And then we finally got it in, but then it wouldn't connect into the corner trim. Oh, God, it was just like, oh, it was terrible. Tried always, and then he tried putting like a, um, it's called a scraper, what you scrape the walls with, like down the trim to try and slide it in. Ended up knocking the trim, so you had to rip that trim back off. Luckily, we just had another bit, what was just perfect size, because that was the last bit. Um, and then he struggled again and I says well, why don't you just take them corner ones out because there was the corner ones that wouldn't connect in so he's ended up putting this trim round the baths on but the corner trims we've had to just rip them down because like they just weren't connecting the um, bathroom cladding was like too thick for the gaps in the trims but you can imagine the stress levels and Oh God, it's just been a nightmare day. So we've got all the cladding up now. And the end trims went on fine, so that was good. But obviously where the corners were, there's like, you can see a slight gap. I went, well, we'll just buy that trim what you stick on. Just the plain white trim. Um, and once that's on, it'll look lovely. But he's stressed to death. He says it looks rubbish and it isn't. It looks much better than what we had. And it looks much better than how we were originally going to paint it, paint the tiles grey. 
I just think once you say it finished, you like feel better about it the minute he's like angry. Hey, just everything. What could have went wrong today has went wrong. Amount of times he's nearly flipped. Put the cleanse on now. Like I say, we just need to buy some new trim for the corners. But it's well sealed. It's like I wouldn't know what I would get through the back, like the um, old trim we used to have on. I nearly wasn't going to do a mukbang because you know, when you're just so stressed and like, oh, angry. And I thought I can't be doing a video, but now that it's up, it's like we can chill a little bit. <coughs> Kenny's still not impressed, but I, I can see, like, it's going to be nice once it's properly finished off. Like I say, it's better than what we had. And then with the being so windy because he had to like take them in the back on. I mean the massive panels. They're like two metres, two and a half metres tall and a metre wide. So with the being so windy when he was taking them outside in the back garden to cut. <laughs> he was nearly taken off with the wind wind. Yeah. <laughs> he says, Jesus Christ, I've just nearly lifted up with the panels, nearly took us away. <laughs> so with that and the extreme wind, trying to cut them, then the rain came. Oh, just everything like I said. <laughs> You can laugh about it now, but at the time, well. Look what I finally got. Me book off me ma'am. This is the shout out book. Personalised shout out book. So let's open it and see who's the first shout out. Oh the first shout out is to Jen is always hungry. Hiya Jen, are you alright? This is your shout out, you wanted a shout out. Next shout out, um, this lady uh, what just wanted to hear me say her name in my accent. So, Chastity Smith. <laughs> Chastity Smith, that's how I say your name in Jodie. <laughs> Hiya, hope you're doing okay. That's your shout out. The next one, um, on the actual YouTube comment, it said Tanya Stevens from Newcastle, Australia. But her real name is Kelly. So, hello Kelly, this is your shout out. Um, Newcastle, but Australia, I'm Newcastle, England. <laughs> and uh, the last one is a shout out to Lisa Burton. She's from Essex. Hello, uh, that's all my shout outs. Whew, I remember to write them down today. So oh, nice um, um, pork steaks. Crinkle carrots.
Mashed potato man. Mm. You make those are terrible. <clears throat> I don't know about you, but when he's are doing like decorating one room, is the rest of your house like just a tip? Such a mess. That cupboard in the um, bathroom is like a laundry cupboard, but he's like glossed it all inside, so it's nice, fresh, and like grey gloss now. Um, so we'll just put all the laundry in two black bags. <clears throat> so I've like got through that today washing. Because it was just like in my bedroom. All the stuff out the bathroom was just in my bedroom. Got a load of washing to put away. Oh, just, it's a nightmare when you decorate one room. The whole house seems to be in uproar. And it's such a tiny bathroom. Oh, I can't manage that last steak there. Do you want this last pork steak? Mm. Well, I got a um, what's it called? Like challenge, <clears throat> a super tink. She challenged us on. She's just done a challenge of it's called what came first, the chicken or the egg challenge. And it basically she had three chicken legs and three eggs, and you had to eat them within five minutes. She got challenged off someone else. I forgot the name, but when I do the challenge, I'll tag that person's name. So I said, oh, well, I'll go and get some chicken legs sometime this week. And I'll do it. Whew, I'm stuffed, guys. <clears throat> Are we allowed to have a bath? Yeah, I just need to wash it. Recently. All right. I've been hanging on, that's another reason it's super late this at Mukbang because I've been hanging on. Obviously it's took all day because there's been so much nightmare happening. Um, so I've hung on because I really wanted to get in the bath and wash my hair but so I just stuck my hairband on. <laughs> so I'm going to go and have a nice, well clean the bath out and then have a nice bath and then chill. So much stress today guys. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, press the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified of future uploads. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching me. Bye. A little update on Kenny's lemon trees. <laughs> well, a lemon seed he planted. There, look, there's one sprouting. Couple more there. Well, three there, you can see. But that one's coming on Kenny.